remember your training! Alright guys, first of all, and this is kind of a quick reminder, since we actually never mentioned this one before, developers behind the one and only Mutant Year Zero about just a few weeks ago came out and announced a tactical adventure game, well, what they described later to be a tactical turn-based role-playing game set in a post-apocalyptic America named Miasma Chronicles. Here's a reveal trailer, the game set to be released early to mid next year and coming to PCs, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. Only. Damn it! Mama gave me this glove for a reason. As long as she's on the other side of this wall, we'll find the little brother. We'll find her. Lost in a strange parallel world. Be careful, as each decision could be your last. <laughs> Using your phone. Uncover strange anomalies in this new world as you try to piece together a mystery. Alright, just in case you missed out, Bandai Namco actually just came out with some more on Digimon Survive, released a new trailer, said the game launches in Japan July 28th and worldwide the next day. Digimon Survive, in case you're wondering, is described by Bandai as a hybrid visual novel and a tactical role-playing game, the story of which this time around revolves around a student on a school camping trip. Check it out, the games eventually come in all consoles and also PCs. They must trust one another. They must save each other. They must survive. Coming up at number 3 then, NIS America actually just released a new trailer for The Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero. The company in the news then announced this game is due for the PlayStation 4, Switch and PCs on December 27 this year. Here's what they came up with in terms of new footage and just in case you were wondering, the Trails from Zero actually came out in Japan as a PSP game about 12 years ago and this is as you can see its first English version. I never meant for any of this to happen. All this bloodshed. Coming up behind that, we have Lost Eidolons, another turn-based tactical game and one with a heavy focus on cinematic narrative, as stated by its developers. This game is set in a time of a dying empire due to civil war, wherein you take on the role of a mercenary and eventually end up saving it, hopefully, through some classic turn-based stuff. Check it out. This game is set to be coming to basically every single platform late 2022, possibly around October to November. But one way or another, we are gonna end it. I'll do whatever it takes to bring my people home. And no king, no friend, nothing! Will stop me. Yeah. 
At number 5, we've got once again the one and only Songs of Conquest, a super positive score, early access, turn-based strategy that basically fuses RPG, tactical combat, kingdom management together. Sitting on Steam now in case you missed out for the price of 30 bucks if you have ever enjoyed a Heroes of Might and Magic game back then but at the same time in love with pixelated graphics, this is definitely the one for you. In case you should know, also supporting online PvP. Here. been called up. We're up against the Empire's main arm. We are to eradicate every last Imperial who comes ashore. See, earlier in March this year, Square Enix then came out and announced a new IP called The Dive Fields Chronicle. What they described to be a deeply strategic role-playing game created by a team of strategy veterans from different eras and taking cues from games like Fire Emblem Three Houses. Here it is now, all we know though is that this game is releasing later this year and on its way to PCs, consoles and also the Nintendo Switch. This is our chance while they're all assembled. We should send our best and crush them. That's right. All the more reason to avoid bloodshed. It also likely means that we're in danger. I suppose it is the only way for us to survive. Moving on, we have Absolute Tactics, Daughters of Mercy, available on Steam also through a playable demo and said to be coming to consoles and PCs at its full later this year. Absolute Tactics, in case you're wondering, is being created by the same dude who previously worked on Borderland games, who actually describes the game as a light-hearted turn-based RPG adventure that puts a modern spin on the classic tactics style games. Check it out, just in case you missed it. <laughs> So Metal Slug Tactics, on the other hand, well technically a sequel to what y'all came to know through the past couple of decades as a series of run and gun games, is also making a return and this time the combat is as you can see combined with elements of roguelike and role-playing games. Graphically, the game as you can see looks just the same if not actually better, albeit with a tactical approach and incorporating all characters and storylines from the series' history. Check it out, this game is releasing for PCs and Switch sometime later this year. Crimson Tactics, Rise of the White Banner on the other hand, also a tactical turn-based RPG and one set in a medieval world, is set to be released soon, in fact early to mid-August this year, and as a game heavily influenced by the likes of Final Fantasy and Ogre Tactics. Here's the trailer, Crimson Tactics is supposedly releasing a free demo on Steam in case you're interested in the following week. Check it out. Come, let the wolf bear his fangs!
Now, at number 10, we're looking at Reverse Collapse, codename Bakery, announced more than three years ago as another tactical RPG and confirmed for a 2021 release, which obviously didn't happen. See, codename Bakery, in case you're wondering, the sequel to Girls Frontline is a tactical turn-based free mobile game and on its way to PCs, Switch, and mobile devices once again sometime later this year. Check it out, here's a brand new trailer too. Coming up behind that, we've got Tyrant's Blessing, a tactical turn-based game where, as stated by developers, your ability to plan, adapt, and strategize is just way more important than leveling up or just anything else for that matter. Honestly, not really much to talk about with this one except this game is available through a demo on Steam and set to be coming out to PCs only late 2022, possibly November. Check it out. days descended upon you. You rose from an unforgivable betrayal. At number 12, and this has actually been available for a couple of months now, we have the Iron Oath that was supposed to be the next generation of turn-based tactics back when it came out, but nonetheless a game with a significant amount of potential as a party-based mercenary management kind of sim and one that isn't really built by a gamer. Still a very good game, although in early access, the finished game however is set to be released next year and this is what it's all about. Live, die, and prosper by the Iron Oath. Alright, coming up next, it is Untamed Tactics, a narrative-driven tactical role-playing game where you play technically the memories of a retired rabbit named General Greycoats, and basically live through Greycoats' past in, as you can see, an asymmetric two-and-a-half-dimensional tactical battle. Learn stuff and eventually get to be the leader of a town of free animals. Here's a trailer. This game is available also on Steam through a demo only and set to be released early to mid next year.
that. Moving on, we have Arcadian Atlas from only hours ago. Well, what is described to be a politically charged tactical role-playing game taking heavy cues from tactical-based IPs like the classic Disgaea games? The publisher behind the game, going by Serenity Forge, also came out with a revealed gameplay trailer and said this game is now set for a summer 2023 release and only on Steam. Check it out, just in case you miss it. And last but not least, we've got Warriors of the Nile 2, a turn-based strategy roguelite that came out way first two years ago, where once again builds up on the original version framework where your warriors are equipped with a more unique combat style, according to developers, and also get to fight against the Roman army. Check it out, this game's actually setting on scene with a playable demo and set to be released in its full by the end of 2022. 